Welcome to the Horror Burrito Presents Nightmares and News. I'm your host, Bumps in the Night, and here's the news. It's time to cast your vote. That's right, ghouls and fiends. Voting for Fear Dimmick's Horror Game Awards is now open until August 3rd. First announced back in May, Fear Dimmick's voting for the Horror Game Awards is now open for you, the fans, to decide the best of 2022's crop of horror video games. It's up to you to decide who receives golden bats in each of the 13 categories. The Horror Game Awards are part of Fear Dimmick's Horror Extravaganza, which is being run in partnership with ING and will take place on September 6th and 7th. The event will showcase the most anticipated horror games coming your way for the latter half of 2023 and into 2024. The following night, we will see Fear Dimmick and ING present the Horror Game Awards, celebrating the best horror games of 2022, as the polls will close on August 3rd. So hit up the Fear Fest website and cast your votes now. In other horror-related news, Tony Tear's Series 9 from NECA includes Megan, Tarman, and Vincent Price toys. Inspired by classic Saturday morning cartoons, NECA's line of Tony Tear toys keep on getting bigger, and the company previews the upcoming Series 9 this week. Standing approximately 6 inches tall, the Series 9 action figure assortment include the iconic The Fiend, which is a mascot from the band The Misfits, with candelabra and potion bottle in hand. The legendary Vincent Price with cat and skull accessories, and of course everyone's favorite Tar Man from Return of the Living Dead, as well as newcomer Megan with a paper cutter sword. Each comes in blistering packaging with a bonus cutout backdrop. The four brand new Series 9 toys join the Toonie Tears lineup in January of 2024. NECA will release Toonie Tears Series 8 this summer. Some previous Toonie Tear toys include Trick or Treat Sam, The Nun, Leatherface, Pennywise, Ghostface, do you own any of these Toonie Tears? Do you plan on picking up the newest wave? You might want to hurry down to your nearest local retailer before they fly off shelves. Now we'll take a trip down memory lane, all the way back to The Haunted Mansion. The Haunted Mansion movie reboot drops this week, and from what we're told, it's a faithful adaptation of The Dark Ride, bringing a heartfelt look at grief to the big screen. Disney's Haunted Mansion seeks to course correct from its looser adaptation of the famous theme park Dark Ride in 2003 with a new, much more faithful feature-length adaptation. That's a tall order considering the original attraction opened in 1969, amassing decades worth of lore and history within its hollowed, spooky walls. And yet director Justin Siam and writer Katie Dippold carefully threaded 999 happy haunts into a cohesive but densely packed storyline. That brings every bit of grim, grinning ghost funhouse antics, mythology, and details you'd expect. But it's the new approach on grief and death that solidifies their haunted mansion as a worthwhile gateway to horror for a new generation. We won't give away too many details in case you want to see the movie in theaters, but all we can say is you're going to have a scary good time. Just make sure to check in your back seat after you leave the theater as you might have brought a ghost home with you. Do you plan on seeing this movie in theaters or are you going to wait for it to hit streaming? We know we're looking forward to going and seeing it on the big screen. Speaking of movie news, the Exorcist Believer trailer is now playing exclusively in theaters. This last week has been a big one for The Exorcist. With Universal launching a series of three posters for a new sequel, The Exorcist Believer. And that was the appetizer for the main course with the official trailer for The Exorcist Believer now playing in theaters. The trailer for The Exorcist Believer, like many recent Blumhouse movies, is a theater exclusive for now. You'll find it attached to Oppenheimer on the big screen this weekend. We expect the trailer will be finding its way online soon, but for now the only way you'll be able to get a first look sneak peek at the movie is, well, by going to the movies this weekend. David Gordon Green directed the brand new sequel to The Exorcist for Universal that will pave the way for a new trilogy. The first film of the trilogy will be released theatrically on October 13th, 2023. We'll bring you more news on this as this story develops. And last but not least, we're back to Beetlejuice 2 again. This just in. There's been theft on the Beetlejuice 2 set. A theft on Beetlejuice 2 set has seen an iconic Beetlejuice statue stolen. The eye-catching artwork featured in Tim Burton's original 1988 comedy classic, and was supposed to feature in the upcoming sequel. However, a report from Vermont State Police have revealed the statue was stolen alongside a lamp with a distinctive pumpkin decoration on top. A report from the scene claims that they tried saying the name three times of the stolen statue, but it didn't come back. Vermont State Troopers are investigating the theft of this 150-pound set piece from the Beetlejuice 2 filming location in East Corthran, along with that lamp post I mentioned earlier. According to NBC5, the thieves drove up to the lamp post in an older model GMC pickup truck 
just after midnight on July 14th. They removed the base and then loaded it onto the truck. Security staff reported that the thieves returned Monday to steal the statue. No arrests have been made yet, and anyone with information on the theft should call 802-748-3111. I know the statue's come to life in Beetlejuice. What are the odds this one got up and just walked away? That's all the news I have for you today, my lovely fiends. Stay spooky, keep those claws sharp, and consume more souls of the living. I've been your host, Bumps in the Night, and remember, dear viewer, horror is a beau thing.